Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. Let me remind you of or introduce to you a term called delayed gratification. Sometimes we get opportunities in life to have a little extra fun or buy a little something extra or whatever the case may be. And you feel like you deserve it. Shucks, you probably do. But every little bit that you take now and splurge on it takes away from what you could be doing in the future. The principle is basically that if you work hard now, if you sacrifice now, you can enjoy more later. And the more you sacrifice now, the more you can enjoy later. Men need to master this principle. Some people may disagree. That's fine. You have to do what works for you. Let me show you some ways that this could manifest. You could for your first home purchase, for example, save up some money and buy a very small home in cash, or you could buy a bigger home and pay a note, pay a mortgage. That small house, you start making your money back on it the very next month. Shucks, if you move, you can sell it and get your money back, or if you put work into it, you can get something out of it. That house with that mortgage, well, you're paying interest on it, and I know you're telling yourself, well, I'm going to pay it off early. I'll pay it off early. Okay. But remember, you're in the mindset where you celebrate early. So now, well, I guess I should buy this nice living room set to go with it and pay a note on that. And then I guess I should get the stainless steel furniture and pay a note. Okay. So before you know it, you snowball into a life full of notes instead of a life full of savings. How about starting off as a business owner? You're starting to make extra money, but you know you're supposed to reinvest that money back into your company. Yeah, but everybody else is traveling and everybody else is living their best life. Oh, I could splurge just a little bit. Yeah, okay. I think at this point you should get the picture. If not, email me, motivationequation at gmail.com. If I need to go into any further detail, I can. You want to be disciplined to where you don't start letting yourself get in your own way and bad spending habit and bad choices and things that you don't need, they start to pile up. Most people don't just stay in the middle of anything. They either go one way or the other. So if that's going to be the case, then I say be more on the extreme side of saving, being cautious, and making sure that your end goal gets accomplished. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.